Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm Sam, come from Genetech. I'm project manager. So here, what are we looking at here? Yeah, this is a uh, uh, Zigbee gateway. So it's got uh, Ethernet port, USB. Yeah. Uh, what do you connect to the USB? The, the USB just for extend the, the storage. And it's different with other Zigbee gateway in the market. The normally they are the, the USB from uh, for in uh, for connect with the LTE module dongle, but uh, ours is only for extend the storage because our the LTE module is already integrated inside. So this is the uh, GTW three five zero. Yeah, it's uh, running Linux open open WRT. So that means it has a lot of functionality going on. It's like a router so software a little bit. Yeah. So and then it takes Zigbee, BLE, Z-Wave, uh, a lot yeah. of different solutions. Yeah, it can uh, can support a lot of different solutions. Now this small size uh, already can support Zigbee, BLE, and uh, 4G, Wi-Fi. And what's the solution? What's the chipset? The chipset is from MTK. So it has built-in modem. Yeah, this is for SIM card slot. SIM card slot. Yeah. So. Um, it supports 3G, 4G? Yeah, support 2G, 3G, 4G. Nice. Um, available now? Yeah, it's available. Ready to go. All right. And you have a lot of other IoT. We are here in the IoT area. Um, this, uh, When you talk about this, mm -hmm. this is about connecting all this? Yeah, it's, it's about connect control, monitoring all the sensors in the market. And uh, it already can support 40 different brand, uh, over 200 different sensors in the market. So one gateway for everything? One gateway, yeah, compatible with uh, a lot of different uh, sensor devices in the market. What is this? Uh, th this one is from Hammond. It's a uh, uh, smart socket. Smart plug. This is uh, PIR. This is uh, uh, liquid, water liquid. This is uh, temperature and humidity sensors. So this one will measure how much is raining? Uh, no, it's, imagine, uh, it's some, uh, some area. Yeah, some area is... Uh, how much humidity one? in the air? Yeah. This is uh, the door and the window sensors. But there's uh, so many different... Different things, right? Yeah. And uh, you have other stuff going on with IoT. What is, what is this? Uh, this one is uh, a LoRa getaway. It's for long-range communication. Uh, it's use Qualcomm uh, solution. It's uh, um, also so it has uh, HDMI, USB, uh, and the relay. This is the relay, two two relay, and also have uh, Ethernet. This is a power socket. So uh, it has HDMI. It's kind of like a TV box, also. Or? Uh, no, it's uh, totally different. Uh, this one, uh, the HDMI is for connect with the display to show in the sensor data, uh, and uh, you can control the sensor, uh, the sensors. So LoRa is very long distance. Yeah. So kilometers. Kilometers. So for example, you can use this in farm or where? Yeah, for for farm, for smart city, like a smart a smart parking solution. And also uh, smart the the street light solution, and also can tracking tracking the animal. And um, this one gateway can go to many different things. Can connect with a different kind of LoRa uh, device. Hundreds, thousands, 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 thousands for thousands. one gateway. One gateway. Thousands, thousands. And um, then can uh, in the mesh expand the, the size. <coughs> Can you, you need to connect each one to the internet? So you connect the ethernet port? Yeah, it's, this one is uh, Wi-Fi, this is uh, LoRa, and uh, this one this one is uh, GPS. No SIM card, right? A SIM card half, this is a SIM card. SIM card here, so it goes on 3G, 4G also? Yeah. All right, so what does this cable do? Is it this antenna? is uh, LoRa, LoRa cable, LoRa antenna. Nice. So, uh, what, what people do with this one? What's happening? 
What's the latest? This is uh, also is a Qualcomm chipset. It's a uh, no, Dragon board. We, they use this board to do the edge computing. So here's uh, information about that. Yeah. Uh, Qualcomm 410. Um, what people do with this? Uh, usually, the customers. What they do? Usually, they use this this board to connect with the uh, equipments and uh, analyze all the data from the equipments. So it's also important for the IoT business, right? But normally, they use this one as the basic uh, industry gateway. Does it do also uh, Zigbee, Zwee, Z Waves, everything? Or do you have an adapter to do that, right? Yeah, we have to use the adapter board to support Zigbee, Z Wave, or LoRa. For example, like this way, uh, this LoRa gateway is use this solution to make this LoRa gateway. So that means this one is inside? It's inside. It's powering the whole gateway? Yeah. So that means there's a lot of uh, different projects happening around this? Yeah, definitely. And it's all in the open source? Yeah. Linux? Uh, yeah, Linux. Debian. Debian. And uh, then you have uh, uh, something like this. Can you show uh, here? So those are your famous Android TV TV boxes, right? Yeah. Uh, very popular, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and certified Android TV. So you have a little box like this, affordable. Yeah. And what do you do with this? This? Uh, this one is pretty new stuff. This one is a Zigbee dongle. It's where uh, t working together with the traditional set of box and uh, make the the set of box to be a smart gateway and control the ZigBee device around the set of box. So that means uh, you take a traditional set of box, yeah. you connect this on the USB port. Yeah. Oh. Not here. Maybe yeah. here. Have a USB port. So you just connect on the USB mm -hmm. and then it becomes an IoT gateway. Yeah, it's a web the smart gateway. And you have this supported in your software already? Yeah, already. So all the Genetech, Genetech, all of them all support of them. this. So it's also, very simple to become a gateway. Yeah. Also, you can use the voice to talking with the, the Android box and the control the the Zigbee device around. Does it, it doesn't have microphone? These use the remote voice From control. The remote control has yeah. a microphone. Yeah. You can speak with the remote and the control the soda box. And then the soda box will talking with this Zigbee dongle and control the Zigbee device in the house. Nice. That's cool. And so this is the Google certified Android yeah. TV box uh, running on the on the Amlogic, Amlogic. S905D. What's yeah. a D? Um, D is uh, it's not, a, not a new one. It's already in the market three All right. years. All right. All right, um, and then you also have something like this. What is this? This is the HDMI capture. It's for uh, recording the HDMI uh, video stream. So you can capture it to USB 3? Yeah, USB 3. So uh, this is great for people who want to maybe live stream? Yeah. Uh, live streaming video on PC using OBS, and it's great for uh, people who play video games and want to stream the video games or Definitely. like I do I like to stream from my camera directly on YouTube live So this would be a great way to take the HDMI source from my camera and live stream it through the OBS and uh, Because you are Genetech you experts in capture also, right? Yeah, yeah um, All right, so that's a lot of products and so how's it going here the, at the fair? This is the IOT area. Yeah, Busy? Busy. It's the second day. Second day with all these different uh, LoRa, Zigbee, IoT solutions. All right. And can you explain some of the other projects you work with? You uh, work with many different things? Yeah. We Normally, we, we're doing some uh, customized project. It's uh, based on our uh, the current solution and uh, add some special requirements and uh, doing some different box for our customers. So like some customer have very special requirements? Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. And then we, of course we, we should uh, evaluate the, the first. And then we... So what you can do, for example? Uh, what is one of the crazy ones? Or oh, advanced? <laughs> advanced project you do? Uh, like uh, 
Uh, currently, we have uh, make a big box, and uh, it's a traditional set of box, but uh, integrate the ZB, the sensors, yeah, and also display, and uh, with multiple uh, HDMI input, and for the for the for the user to to con connect with different kind of device and the switch um, by themselves, um, very flexible for them to uh, change the the HDMI port. Multiple inputs. Multiple, multiple. So inputs. that means you, it's one box control everything. One box to control a lot of different device. And um, and you have full expertise in doing TV box together with the gateway. Yeah, definitely. You just showcase this, but you can now you can do. One box is a brain for the whole house. Yeah, and also have a health, a health care. For example, in the house, uh, every people wear a Bluetooth device in the hand, and then just to control uh, when you leave the house, when you back the, to the house, also have the some sensors put on your bed, on your bed, and when you sleep, and how long time you sleep every day, they also can detect. Nice. So there's a smart health care. Yeah. Uh, and in general, to be the gateway for everything smart. Yeah, everything is connected to the cloud and the control and the monitoring by our Apple, uh, the, the phone, the app in the phone. How's it with software updates? Uh, we support the uh, OTA update. And you provide a lot of updates? Yeah. For a long time, uh, it's going to be support on the device. Yeah. Cool.